Hey there everyone, a uh, quick video today. I was just having a little bit of a play around with some different images and I thought to myself I would just share some of the thoughts I was having along the way. And a lot of my thoughts today have been focused around the gamma tool right down here in the um, tone curve area. There's this gamma tool along the bottom and I'll just reset this. You'll notice if you're, if you're looking closely that I'm on the luminance channel here. You can also get a gamma curve on any of these other channels. It works in, in all of the different places. But I'm on the luminance channel for this image. And basically, if you just watch the, the curve, it gives us a, a perfect sort of visualization of what's going on. Um, when I up that, it's just changing the response uh, uh, in terms of how it's mapping the information uh, that is found in the image. So you can see here that it's lifting up really steeply from the blacks through the shadows. So it's kind of washing everything out there and then, and then easing out and easing its way towards highlights. So that's if I put it up and I of course didn't need to go this far. This is for demonstration purposes. And then if I just double click that, I can reset it. So you can see that the base sort of level is one. And if I drop it, it kind of just goes in the other direction. So it scoops and then eases its way towards highlights. So it can really bring down some of the darker tones in your image. I'll just go ahead and reset that for now and just talk a little bit about this image. Actually, I'll bring it back down two notches, which is where I had it two notches down on the Luma curve, particularly. So this image, if I just do a quick comparison started out like this and ended up like this and it's just been part of my part of my play there's not too much done to it i've got it little tweak to white balance i've got this particular film rendering the agfa film whose name i cannot pronounce properly um part of dxo film pack so i've got film pack installed and i'm in the color positive space and you can see there are heaps of choices there and there are more that i could have scrolled but i particularly like the colors of this and i also like the fact that the contrast is quite um quite punchy so uh, other than that, I've got a little uh, bit of a straighten on it, and of course I've cropped it down to 4 by 3 ratio. And then I've got a tiny little local adjustment over here. This graduated filter basically comes up from the corner and lifts the exposure up this way just a touch and adds a little touch of saturation through there as well, just to give it some shape. But thinking about the exposure, which is the main thing that I'm thinking about here, uh, if I come over to the light space, I'll just turn these off for a second. Looking at the histogram naturally, especially with this particular film simulation on it, it, it's the tone curve is quite dark and you can see there's heaps of space to the right here to play with. But I also do need to be careful because it'll be easy to start to overdo these leaves. And also I don't want to lose too much color from there because um, you know, sort of as you, as you raise things, sometimes you can, you can miss out on color. So I want to be careful of that as well. So if I come here to the top, I just started at the top and I clicked on exposure with center weighted average chosen. Don't forget that we've got a few choices in here. I just did that for plus four. And then I also thought, okay, there's still room here. Can I stretch it out? What impact will that have? And in doing that, I thought I'll flick on a little smart lighting, which certainly did. It's really stretched the histogram out nicely. It's really representing well, but it's probably gone a little bit bright here and maybe taken a little bit of my contrast away. I've come again to the luminance curve, especially with this image, I've come to the luminance curve because if I drop my gamma on the RGB, it's going to even more intensify those saturations. In my opinion, it goes too far. For the image in general, I have actually dropped the saturation just by five because I thought it was just a little touch intense. So anyway, luminance channel, and I just come here and, and bring that down a couple to 0.8, which I quite like. You don't need to go that far. You can experiment with what you particularly like but I just find that it gives things really nice shape and nice contrast. The other thing that I did on one of the images I was playing with was to um, just use a control line to bring that sky down a smidge, um, but I won't bother doing that here and now. If I go from there to there, it's just added heaps more contrast, still kept this kind of, it's not a light and airy look, it's more of a, 
uh, dark and gritty look in this case, but but I like it. And it's got really, really punchy contrast, so I appreciate that. Now, another example, let me just find my image, is um, this one over here. And this is kind of going going at things in a different direction. You'll have to please excuse the incredible, obviously, I did not... Look at the, look at this atrocity over here. Look at these look at these dust spots. <laughs> Obviously, did not clean my sensor before this session. So the big thing here, obviously, is that we've got this mass of really dark space down here, and you know perhaps you can think about going in the other direction with that. So if I if I just start to raise that up, you can see what it's doing there. It's really right from right from blacks. It's got a really steep bit of of curve there that's going to help to raise all that up. Now obviously we're losing heaps of contrast through that so we have to be careful of that but if we just go maybe about to there i'm just going to click in here and adjust this i'm going to bring from here back down a bit you can see that what was along this scale 169 is now at 202 so you can see kind of get a sense for how much that's raised and i'll just drop that a little bit that way for now actually before i go too far i should put at least at least the basic Nikon rendering on because that will impact my tones and I'm definitely just gonna maybe I'll pop this on to shade and I think I want to have a touch of magenta in there so yeah about like that now of course coming back here I'll, what I'll be thinking about is contrast so I'm going to be you know, the, if I'm looking at that histogram now, it's it's getting there. It's reasonable. The sun is blown out. That's here, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. We've got a decent little representation through lots of it, and then some some darker bits um, at the bottom. So I'm thinking about what I might do. So I might actually just raise those shadows even just a little bit more, and then I might bring those blacks down, but not that much. Got to be a bit careful with that. And this is probably a good space to have a play with the clear view, because that's going to be good for contrast. Yeah, look, that's just at 25 there. That's brought in quite a bit of contrast. Can possibly bing that out a touch more. I think now maybe I've gone a little dark through there, so I might take that black point off. And, yep, I'll take it back down just a little, just trying to find that balance. Maybe right about there. And obviously this one is going to want some saturation. I um, I think in an earlier edit I just put it on something like a Velvia simulation, but just for now I'll just up my saturation a bit. And I'm just looking at the, the blue in the sky there is not my favorite, but I won't fuss that too much for now. I think I'm going to just take the micro contrast off here and bring that contrast up a little bit more and I actually think there could be a place for the micro contrast here but just in the in the front of the image so I'll pop over here and just do a wee gradient and something like that so something like that just bump my micro contrast up a bit through there nice. also feel like a little bit of extra warmth on there feels nice as well so i won't play with the colors too much for now but just to give you that sense of of you know potentially using the gamma curve in that kind of way to help lift things up and yes absolutely you can play around with shadows you can play around with blacks just looking at different ways of doing things because in different images you might come up against different challenges and you know it, it's always good to have different tools in your tool belt and just briefly one last one i was playing around with i was playing around with this one i brought that How's my compare set up? There we go. I brought that kind of like that, kind of using really similar techniques. So you can see here, and I won't go into this one too deep, but if I just turn these things off and then turn them back on again, uh, the image was like this. I can see I do have some bright spots there, but they're, uh, which, you know, in terms of the sky, but, but a lot of the image is really too dark. So I banged on a good amount of uh, exposure compensation and then smart lighting which lifted things even further but now it's starting to make things a little bit washy and so just come down here to the tone curve and did that and i find that really really a nice sort of dense 
interesting. And, and there is on this one, I can also call out, there is a bit of a saturation raise as well. But yeah, it's just kind of got a, it's got a density about it that I appreciate quite a bit. So like I say, just some food for thought. I'd be super curious if any of you have played around with Gamma or have anything to add to that Gamma conversation. Really appreciate it if you drop that in the comments. I'll also say because what are we on? We're on Easter Sunday here in New Zealand. You guys, some of you won't be, you'll be waking up to Easter Sunday soon. And uh, anyway, just to, to highlight the fact that if you check the description, there is a coupon code there for 20% off new purchases if you are buying something new so not for upgrades but for something new and that is good till what maybe paris time midnight on monday something to that effect it's just for easter weekend so with that i'll say thanks for watching bye for now and i will talk again soon